careful, careful, careful. Let's make a hundred thousand Girl, you shine like a medallion Legs just like a stallion And I'm styling Seven signs of a rat Cat, cat Drop it on a diamond She's a skeezy tail from the strip tease. Yeah. Tricks from miles away, they been spit G's. Ain't nothing wrong or thong about to snap. They playing my song, I got a cup full of yak. I'm posted in the back, yeah. passing options with no lap dance. This chance will cost you. Uh, just get low for the boys that's watching. Shake it, raise it, twist it, pop it. You keep it here, Jade, that you keep your toes painted. You're never outdated, cause you love to maintain it. Wiggle your waist to your favorite song. If he's paying, he comes along. Arcane go shines in the back. This is where the weed and the rap cat sat 45 minutes till we finish and you at me like Hey, 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 can I get your number for your back? Slow motion, do the Billy Ocean She got cakes to shake like a convulsion Walk up the hill, hop those stuff with kill I tell a fly freak what the deal You know she got love for me, pop the bubbly With ass like me, the 36 double D It's all fitness, fitness, the bitch is vicious She known to run in six inches heels Six inches met to a stiletto She's wearing underwear that hoes jello She might be white, brown, or yellow When I talk to her like Frank Costello She's Pinocchio and I'm Geppetto And she can be a habit like a morning espresso Put your money in your mind in a rap Cat, cat, game in your brain for life It's you worship, close to perfect Make your fine drink get blown to cursive So work it, baby, you a beautiful bitch She switched that ass fast and that's her gift Like a model with a body like a Coca-Cola bottle Shape a figure eight in the squares to follow It's all for the dollars, so act like you get something Because I'm only out for big money Let's make a hundred thousand Girl, you shine like a medallion Legs just like a stallion And I'm styling Seven signs of a rap Cat, cat, cat Oh, once again, it's a Mia Mario Andretti with a fucking machete. Pick one of your arms, lady. I'm chopping the other one clean off. One of them's laughing. Yeah, guys. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, well, what are we going to do next? Yeah. How, how far can we go down the fucking rabbit hole with this? Uh, yeah, the, basically, the whole point of this, it's not just to laugh and, and mock each other. That, yeah, that's the fun part, but no, no, no. If uh, any of them have kept up, yeah, yeah, they might not know the specific little catchphrase. What's your secret, Flanders? I, I, you know, we're each curious what strengths the other had that made each other, yeah. Straight fucking Ragnarok Jihad from here to fucking Mars, ready to unload the planet, crack and bunker bust and hellfire. Each of us are damn well ready to fucking burn the whole planet, right? I joked about this with, um, if the Persians, or yeah, if I get in straight j jihad with ISIS out of Syria, I'm like, bro, yeah, you gonna be, we're both going Praetor Imperator in five minutes at that point, yeah, yeah, be, be like the Ruskies going into Ukraine or some shit, it's gonna turn into World War Three overnight, bro, yeah, yeah, we can't really have bar fights anymore without a fucking nuclear jihad starting, so yeah, yeah, we... It's why we built a fucking military industrial complex, so we don't just wait till we're drunk and start fist fighting with nukes. Yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, anyway, um, bravest man in Japan turned out to be a woman. Oh, you don't doubt it, Shika. Oh my god, it's Princess Zelda. Whatever. I don't care if you're wearing a wig, whatever. Bitch, okay, we're, we're gonna sneak you into America. Yeah, careful, there are straight up Japanese gulag internment camps going on there. Say you're Takmushin, you look, you look straight up, you could pretend you're Italian, whatever. You're my, no, dude, straight up Ottoman. Yeah, we'll say you're an Ottoman Muslim Turk, like uh, Borat or whatever, straight half Muslim Ottoman Borat, half Carthaginian, Slovakian, uh, uh, Austrian douchebag of some kind. We'll get you some wigs if we have to. We're going to sneak over to America, I'm going to get you inside the Pentagon, we can find out about areas 1 to 50, Hopefully, the Japanese here and the Shogunator can better understand, yeah, well, you know, what mistakes did you make? What mistakes did we make? How can we avoid this in the future? What, yeah, what was our secret? How did we beat you, basically? Right, right. If this happens again, how do you beat us? Yeah, yeah, how do we not get, yeah, right? You don't doubt it. Hey, this is right. 
Welcome to Heisenschroger Academy. This is where the Klingons finally turn into scientists. We stop fight. Yeah, this is where we finally stop sword fighting. We put down the giant swords and guns. We pick up the tiny little swords to cut up the tiny little gourmet Swiss cheese into tiny little cubes. And then that's when we finally start acting like scientists. So, <clears throat> yeah, you don't doubt the Germans are curious too. Tora Tora Focke Wolf or what? <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the few things you might have heard about this going at one, you know, one of the slightly more uh, popular little things. Oh, Tora, Tora, Tora. It's the war chant. Yeah, war chant to Taiga Taiga Woods, y'all. Straight up. Neo, if you want to be a ninja and or a samurai, pick one or the other and pay attention, please. <clears throat> so, yeah, I uh, first, uh, yeah, went over this in the Shogunator episode. I, I tried to, it was my initial speculation into the you know, propaganda culture at the time. It was my initial guess at, uh, you know, us looking at Japan speculating across the globe a hundred years ago, you know, whatever. Uh, since then, yeah, having slowly, uh, right, adding little bits and pieces as they go. Th this is one of the few things that, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not like it's too big of a coincidence. Yeah, it's a coincidence. It's a normal coincidence, but yeah, there's a lot of coincidences. Tiger, Tiger Woods or what, y'all? Tora, Tora, Tora. Yeah, Tora is a tiger. Tora, Tora is to two tigers. Tiger, Tiger Woods, y'all. Yeah, th three tigers? Three, yeah. What, what's the difference between three tigers or Tora, Tora, Tora? Uh, yeah. Well, beep, 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 Using the little beep, beep machines in the Navy there with the flashing coded signal lights. Tango, Tango, Tango. Is it Whiskey, Zulu, Tango, Alpha, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. Someone would be saying, isn't it Alpha, Beta? Yeah. Motherfucker. Are you going to use a Greek alphabet? Yeah, you know, there might be some Greek or Latin Italian people in Italy or Greece or, or the Latin douchebag foothills. Yeah, a lot of Latin douchebags who might know the Greek alphabet. That would be like me using the English alphabet as a secret coded transmission. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> they're not going to figure this, bra. they're not going to figure this one out. Why don't they just use A, B, C, D? Because Alpha, Beta, Ch uh, Delta, Gamma, yeah, that's the Greek alphabet, you dumbass. We had to come up with our own Whiskey, Zulu, Tango, drunk-ass John Wayne version. And so did Japan. Tora instead of Tango. Yeah, it's the same code, they just used their own English ver You know what I'm saying? Is there a letter T in the Greek alphabet of, of French-Japanese? Yeah, no, straight up, dog. Benchmark it or fuck off. These guys already know how to benchmark. So, what is it supposed to mean? Uh, as far as I can tell, Totsugeki Rageki. Uh, Tetsuo, some kind of machine requiring electricity, I guess. Uh, geki is an ending, like ING, so it's a lightning rating, like a, a rate, yeah, light, kind of like a Blitzkrieg, and yeah, Blitzkrieg, a lightning war, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kriegsmarine, Blitzkrieg, and that's true, and soldats, and the Kriegsmarine, yeah, Luft- and Unterseas Kriegs. Yeah, I told you they got an Akagi super capital carrier uh, with a fucking Luft- and Unterseas Kriegs out of the water. Totsugeki Rageki for the lightning rating. Raiding instead of raid, because there's geki on the end of totsugeki and raigeki. I'm still figuring it out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, he's doing his weird, yeah, straight up alien Nooglebogland fucking PsyOps Delta nonsense from Super Mario's Galaxy. Yeah, it's a, it's an Anglo thing. Shadow Link, uh, yeah, Shadow Link or what? You guys Blitzkrieg bopping or totsugeki raigekin? Is this Tora Tora Focke Wolf? Yeah, what's going on between a Tora and a Focke Wolf? We gotta figure this out before we can fuck a wolf. Yeah, otherwise it's rape. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no, they're just waiting for me to stop rambling. Okay, back to normal. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Try to keep this a little more professional for you guys. Basically, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on between a Tora and a Focke Wolf. You guys are Focke Wolf in here, there, everywhere. As far as I can tell, you guys have already Focke Wolf fucking from here to... Yeah. Yeah, I, I won't ask what you guys do when I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> Might be a little confused, too. Wait a minute, are, are you uh, talking about uh, the Italian Italians or the Italian Americans? Yeah, which side of the Axis coin? Yeah, brah. The uh, Austro-German hybrid? Yeah, straight up, yeah, Zerg Pro... Uh, the, the, execu the Conclave Executor. You guys are close enough to the StarCraft Shogunators in, in Korea there. Yeah. America is kind of like Korea. It's kind of, yeah, Ostrich, Deutsch, yeah, uh, Chinese and Japanese, yeah, we're British and Italian, yeah, we're Austro and German, we're Nazis and Communists, yeah, we're Russians and Germans, you get it. We have already melded our cultures. Imagine you and China were one country and you were always bickering at each other like fucking, yeah, straight up. 
China's calling you at three in the morning and fucking throwing bloody tampons at your window bitching about your evil war economy or some shit. Yeah, your fucking em empire of the Dutch Indies or whatever. Yeah, you get it. That's why we, that's why I make fun of the British so much. That's why they, yeah, you know, you don't doubt it. That's why we're always bickering with each other. That's why I always bitch at Canada. It's why they like to make fun of burning down the White House. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, straight up. There is, China's already calling you to bitch about your evil war economy and your fucking pirate mafia of the Dutch Indies. What the fuck are you going to tell them? <laughs> And then you guys, if any of you have kept up uh, with any of this thinking, oh yeah, yeah, we did compare you to the, yeah, the Britannic Empire indeed, Britannia the Third. Yeah, I, I hope you guys can appreciate the juicy irony here. I hope you can see how, yeah, you know, it's, it's nice to think you have these political ideals and principles and yeah, no, you know, <laughs> right. I like to get all, yeah, I'm pretty patriotic about the Republic. Yeah, my enemy is the queen bitch of the universe, cleansing of the blue bloods indeed. But when the Japanese Britannic Empire of the fucking galactic death destroying pillage ra pirate raiders of the Dutch Indies, you guys are literally doing the same thing that we hate Britain for. We still bitch at Britain over this, guys. Right, I, well, again, I hope you can appreciate why this is fucking hilarious at this point, yeah, you get it, yeah, it, no, it doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter if I'm visiting your parents or you're visiting mine, it's gonna be a fucking awkward Thanksgiving this year, St at least I'm getting a good birthday present, how's the next Super Mario extortion racket, and, oh yeah, that's just, it's just the beginning. So if America is already, uh, like, half British and half Italian, at least in the back in 1940s, or, yeah, yeah, right, the, the majority of the uh, working-class adult population that was registered voters, not illegal immigrants from Mexico, or whatever, I'm just saying, as far as the census goes, yeah, yeah, who's in the phone book, who's in, yeah, who has an address, and who pays their taxes, yeah, yeah, you get it. <laughs> right. It's why I would say Latin instead of English, or, you know, Latin English as in the simplest possible definition of this word. Uh, but yeah, when I say warrior, to me a warrior just means you're in a war. If you ask some hipster Saxon douchebag motherfucker, they're gonna go on and on about the noble warriors of a King Aragorn or some King Dildo Master. Yeah, you get it. Right, I can make up words too, buddy. I can make up definitions. I can, yeah, I've got a straight urban dictionary of slanderous slang for you guys. We'll get to it. Yeah, the, this whole Rosetta Stone thing, uh, yeah, one of our few little secrets that we, yeah, our few little advantages, our ability to sort of, you know, yeah, clearly we're not always right. We make a lot of bonehead assumptions here and there with our Penitus Oculatus, Psyops, Alien, Delta nonsense. They probably already get it, though. Yeah, we happen to have a knack for, you know, at least, uh, like, intercepting enough data to get a vague idea of what you want. Yeah, w we sort of knew you were, uh, you, you could be dangerous. Uh, yeah, we didn't think, yeah. By the time I fucking got the secret transmission from Dan Aykroyd, you, yeah, they already blew up my fucking mailbox. <laughs> right, it doesn't always work the way we want it to, but I don't doubt it's one of those things you guys might be curious about. Oh, this is one thing that, yeah, they're good at that we could learn about. There's things you guys are good at that we could learn about. I don't doubt you could build a better fucking Italian sports car if you, yeah, right, straight up. Yeah, guys, like, come on. In the end, we're... I'm gonna need your help to deal with the British straight up. I'm gonna need your help to deal with fucking Neo. Oh no, like I said, this Austrian, British Austrian soap opera is just getting started. So yeah, even after you and I are like a straight up mafia homeboys, uh, Gestapo samurai, yeah, we're still bitching with the British about this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Our conflict with you has come and gone over the millennia, and yeah, back to the fucking King Henry, the 15 millionth King Henry fucking Caesar douchebag, yeah. Oh yeah, their royal family is very much the Latin douchebags from Italy, yeah. King Arturius Caesar douchebag Imperator, yeah, you guys are probably laughing just at how stupid this is. Basically, we've already gone, we've already jumped through these political hoops a hundred times before we met you. Whereas, since you guys had only recently come into such direct, open political contact with your neighbors, right, you're going through this awkward bullshit for the first time with your neighbors. Yeah, straight pillaging China like fucking Viking Mongolian fucking Mad Max apocalypse raiders. I don't doubt a lot of them feel bad about it. Yeah, they straight massacred the Dutch and, the, well, more, mostly China. Yeah, if anyone, yeah, I talk about reparations, this, that, or the other, I don't doubt Japan owes a billion dollars worth of sushi or fucking sake or some shit. Was, yeah.
Right, I don't, uh, yeah, I get the bill for the tea and spices might not be as big as you think. Yeah, kind of like with Britain, when, when they finally got a bill for all those tea and spices and Dutch indie colonies. Well, it turned out to be, a yeah, it was a little more affordable than they thought it was going to be. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'll probably make fun of how British you guys kind of, yeah, occasionally you remind me of the British. <laughs> Yeah, uh, occasionally I'm going to need your help to b help me bitch with the British. Yeah, we're probably going to be doing this for a thousand years before we move on to the bitching with Carlos about the Alamo or some shit. So, this is the thing. I'm sure they've heard a lot of these things before. They're, they're familiar with how nonsensically hilarious this is now. But they get it. Back in the day, yeah, when you first came up against America, the straight-up evil fascist dictatorship of stormtroopers, you get it. I don't, I'm sure they didn't know most of this. They didn't realize that, right, America was basically half Britannic Empire, half Latin douchebag Paisano Scarface Diablo, you get it. Yeah, the mob went real legit. Now we run the Gestapo, SS, FBI, Penitus Oculatus, adjudicators here, and the federal law of the fucking executor, Marshal. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, the executor, redcoat, marine motherfucker, hanging motherfuckers off the monitor, dreadnought here, there, anywhere. Depends how far you want to... Yeah, we want to take this to Sparta or to the Colosseum back... Yeah, you get it. Options, you got choices, bra, with or without the bunker bust and hellfire. G yeah, again, guys, God damn it! if anyone can handle this, it's you. I, I still need your help dealing with these motherfuckers. And, right, even if they're still getting... Yeah, even if they're still unfamiliar with a lot of this... Yeah, basically, just imagine you're the British and the Chinese are the Latin Italian douchebags. Yeah, right. You you are the guy who looks like a Q-tip. You're yeah, a straight master shogunator assassinator, and the Chinese are calling you at three in the morning, bitching about your evil war economy and your pirate fucking. Ar yeah, you get it. Your pirate empire of the Dutch Indies. Where's my fucking bitches, pimps, and heroin or whatever? Straight chasing. Yeah, you get it. You guys are probably gonna bitch about this with yeah. You're gonna be bitching about this with each other for a long time. Before you get back to helping me fucking bitching at the British. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still going to be bitching at King Henry about this shit. So, you, okay, the, clearing that up, just, you guys are already familiar with most of this now. Yeah, you've run in, wait a minute, <laughs> I've, what, I met Mario in America, yeah, I know there's Italian-Americans, there's probably Italian-Italians, yeah, there's probably British people in America, straight up, there's probably some British people in Canada and America, yeah, and all those British colonies of the Britannic Empire, I don't doubt there's some British people here, there, fucking anywhere, bud. Right. They, 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 they've seen these things since, but I'm sure they understand now how, by the time they realize that, yeah, well, how different is this from the Roman, how different is ancient Roman and Greek Latin? Felix, douchebag, infinitus, motherfucker, praetor, imperator, executor, fucking annihilator, executor or judicator, yeah, it's... It's the Republic, motherfucker. It's the goddamn Republic. It's the Senate Library of the Empire. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. We, we changed a few words. We abbreviated. We snoop diggity dog. Changed our Greek alphabet to some whiskey, Zulu, tango, acid tripper nonsense so that the Latin douchebags can't solve our secret coded transmissions that go A, B, C, D. Yeah, guys. If you are going to be straight King Henry using a Greek alphabet when you're fighting the Italians, yeah. Somehow the Italians cracked our secret Greek alphabet tra Yeah, motherfucker, the Japanese are laughing at you. They don't even know what that shit, half of that shit means. But they, yeah. Imagine I used a Japanese alphabet as my secret transmission when fighting the Japanese. Yeah, you get it. I could, yeah, I'd at least use a Chinese alphabet, something. Uh, or go find a Korean Manchurian who's Chinese and Japanese, a straight-up communist Nazi motherfucker in and out of the Kremlin. You get it. I don't doubt there's someone in Korea who could crack Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, depending. Can you tell if he's the mo half Mongolian? Yeah, straight up, no, because you're all part Mongolian. These guys are all part Latin. Even King Henry is part Latin. That's why, that's why we are alien psyops delta nonsense works here. A lot of people don't realize this. A lot of people assume that every single country must be a completely different, isolated, segregated race from the other. Right. They might think that if a Sicilian mob don goes to shoot up a Tuscany mob don, if Mario kills Luigi, it must be genocide, I guess. Motherfucker. We've, we've, uh, yeah. 
I, I kind of touched on this before. It's uh, less relevant now because, yeah, we're already at the point of, yeah, the politics get stupider and stupider as things get more complicated, whatever. Yeah, we've essentially passed the point of, yeah, that basic level one security screening, the fucking half-ass bender inspection at the airport. Is there a bomb in your turbine, sir? Yeah, guys. Yeah, we've been you, you, yeah, we got to upgrade to the Latin douchebag Mongolian douchebag inspection. Can you tell if he's Mongol Latin Mongolian? Yeah, right. If you can't tell if he's half Mongolian or whether uh, uh, Austrian Slovakian Latin, yeah. You get it. If if you can't tell, we all going to be some Praetor Artanis Phoenix Tassadar motherfucking alien adjudicator executor nonsense. Uh, yeah, again, it's like, I am rambling, but uh, they probably get by now. Right. The modern Roman empires, these modern Roman republics versus the old Roman republic, yeah. We still have a mafia, they just don't run the fire department anymore. Yeah, yeah. The police are kind of like a mafia. Well, they, by definition, by default, they they are obligated to be the, the toughest street gang on, in, on the streets in New York. If they weren't, they wouldn't be the NYPD, motherfucker. Yeah, means I'm going to knock your punk ass down. Exactly. If they weren't knocking your punk ass down, they wouldn't be the NYPD, would they? And so one of them probably gets it again. Yeah, for some reason, you seem to get along better with the Chinese Europeans than the Japanese. Yeah, the Britannics. The, the guy trying to look like Neo with the hair... Yeah, the straight out... You know what I'm talking about. The guy with the Neo garbage bag haircut talking about ninja swords. Yeah, ain't no such thing as a ninja sword. You see a ninja with a sword, you better call Gestapo Diablo of the fucking SS Yakuza mobbed on unit on the Volkspawn. You get it. Motherfucker stole my bro, home bra's sword. Yeah, shit's illegal, bro. I ain't supposed to have that. You get it. Yeah, oh, they are the law, bitch. Yeah, the extortion racket of fucking Edo. They got it. They already know this shit. That's the thing. Sure, they got different names for it, but yeah, once I explained what an Imperator is, and once I learned what a Shogun was, and once we explained the extortion racket of the fucking Mafia, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like, we've both been doing the same thing for a long time, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, just clearing up that one vague little detail. You've probably heard someone say, oh, Americans have no culture. Bitch, America's culture is older than whoever the fuck told you that unless they are straight from the Han Shin dynasty or they are straight Egyptian, African, Carthaginian, maybe some kind of Muslim fucking Yom Sayin, Mesopotamian, yeah. There are, uh, yeah, straight Judeas, uh, yeah, e gypsies from Egypt. There are a very small number of a cultures that are more ancient than, than the Latin douchebags of Mount Olympus. Back when cavemen grunted at each other on Mount Olympus. In our Greek alpha beta of Latin, which is m much older than the first pair of underwear you invented, King Henry. <laughs> yes, America's culture is older than whoever the fuck told you America has no culture. I would bet my last fucking peso on it, hombre. And I'm sure the Japanese understand, and I doubt they think it's funny. Yeah, the People's Republic, the People's Liberation Army of China, yeah, it's the goddamn Republic. Yeah, we are damn patriotic about the Republic, but I've come to realize it doesn't matter, yeah, in the end. Yeah, I, I could go s straight Donald Trump fucking dildo master. We, yeah, I, it doesn't really matter. In the end, I tr you trust who you... Yeah, who do you trust? Who do you not trust? Who do you get along with? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. at this point, I don't care if you're the L King Henry Lord dildo master or the fucking shogunate. I happen to get along with... Yeah, we happen to get along pretty well. We both understand the, the extortion racket of the fucking mafia. Yeah, whatever, dog. We got something to start with. Yeah, uh, yeah, you you want you probably need my help bitching at fucking China, and I need your help dealing with the British. You you deal with Neo, and I'll deal with fucking Snoop Diggity Dog in Beijing. All right, yeah, let's trade spots, and yeah, you go there, you take that motherfucker. I'll take this one. And yeah, I'm sure someone's still skeptical just to pile on a Tekken combo of bitch slaps to whoever is skeptical about, oh, you sure your cult? Yeah, am, am I sure my culture is older than you, you? the first pair of underwear you ever invented? Yeah, cycles ago, Shepard. Yes, yeah, cycles ago. Just saying, dog. Yeah, turning that round table right back around at you just because you had to be a hipster douchebag. The reason it seems like America has no culture 
It's because it has a bunch of different cultures that all live in a place where they're all allowed to freely express... Yeah, you're allowed... We're all allowed to express our cultures toward each other whenever we feel like it, for the most part. Yeah, we're trying. As opposed to a country where everyone is, like, required to be the same culture, otherwise they'll get thrown in a gulag, you get it. <laughs> right. It's like some countries, it's like they never have any problems. Yeah, I don't know if they're not allowed... Yeah, is it like North Korea? <laughs> yeah, there's there's no crime in North Korea. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen one crime report. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they get it. Yeah, North Korea must be perfect. I've never heard any... Yeah, hardly any bad news come out of that place. Maybe one or two people who happen to run away and escape. Yeah, you get it. Occasionally, someone escapes North Korea and has a horrifying story to tell, but it's it's fairly, yeah, compared to the number of bad things I've heard about America and your evil war economy and the shogunate there, yeah, yeah, you get it. There's a reason America has millions of complaints stuffed into the president's office, yeah. At least we know. Yeah, you're, you're well, yeah, you are more than well, this is probably something I hope they think is funny. Yeah, we'll make fun of you for, you know, did you tell the emperor when he arrived? Yeah, if you're scared to give the Emperor bad news, that's one of the few things I'm gonna wag my finger at you guys. I don't doubt that was one of your biggest weaknesses, was, you know, even if he was a smart guy, whatever, he could have been borderline Imperator. Yeah, you should not be physically scared of the Emperor. He should not be straight up dildo master god of the universe. He should be your fat, annoying, grumpy boss that, yeah, well, you don't want to get fired. I mean, you don't want to lose your job. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, you, you know, try to work with these people. But you should not fear their divine, holy orgasm. Or, yes, yeah, straight up, you know what I mean. If the king starts masturbating, you should... Yeah, that should not interrupt all business. You should be able to give complaints to your, you know, leaders. Otherwise, they won't know what the problems are. You get it. Even Stalin had this problem. Got to a point where no one wanted to give him any bad news. Yeah, yeah, you get it. How far can you take this Dr. Evil fucking goddamn... Yeah, you get it. Yeah, th whatever. Dr. Evil Imperator can only go so far before you turn into the motherfucking czar. I don't even know. Yeah, lost in the infinite well of stupidity at that point. I'm sure they, yeah, they, they saw that coming. Yeah, we like to make fun of King Dildo Master, whatever. Again, he might have been smart, good at his job. I don't honestly don't know much about him. But... Yeah, I do not doubt if there is even any hesitation. Ooh, should I tell the... Yeah, you should tell the Emperor immediately. You should give him a big stack of complaints. Everything you could possibly complain about. Yeah, every fucking day, Mr. President. Here's another million fucking complaints about every possible thing I could bitch about. And tomorrow you're going to get a million more complaints about everything I could possibly bitch about. And that's basically your fucking job at this point, is to answer that phone and deal with all these fucking complaints and weirdo aliens that come here looking for leaders and shit it's complicated yeah no they get it if they don't they don't know all the the catchphrases yeah the lizard man conspiracy yeah we need a lizard man conspiracy because it prevents the dr evil hitler stalin lizard man, yeah, orgy conspiracy whatever hey borderline with stalin yeah I, I, with all due respect I like to make fun of Stalin, because if anyone else did what he did, they, yeah, they probably wouldn't... The only reason he pulled off what he did is because he's one of those freak, freakazoid freaks of nature. Yeah, yeah. One in a million chance anyone could have actually pulled that off for 50 years straight, right? Most people can't do that. That's why you can't use someone like Stalin as a typical benchmark example. Yeah, we can't all be, be Stalin. We can't teach a classroom of students, yeah, to all be like Stalin. One of them might. But that's like gambling on King Henry or King Richard. How many, another 50 King Henrys before we end up with another King Richard Imperator? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather deal with a fucking Chinese Republic of Ireland or some shit than deal with another 50 King Henrys. No, they get it. They fucking get it. In case you're not sure, yeah, welcome to, um, you're, we're already in America, brah. Yeah, it's the Latin douchebags and these British fucking douchebag infinitus. Yeah, I'm still bitching at the British. The British are still bitching about my evil war economy. Yeah, it's like we never left. Yeah, yeah, you took one step from here to there, and yeah, it's like you ended up in the same place. Whatever, there are minute differences, yes. But I'm sure any, there's a, quite a few Japanese people who have assimilated here very well. <laughs> yeah, they, people can't even tell if you're Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, whatever, they, there are... You know, Oriental Asians that live here that speak English well enough, if they, if they called you on the phone, you probably wouldn't know that they were Asian until, yeah, you get it. 
They have assimilated well enough. They're borderline Mongolian douchebag inspector with this shit. And yeah, you get it. They can't even tell. Yeah, unless it was right, right in your face obvious about it. Yeah, you get it. What I'm saying is, th uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of them are already familiar enough with most of it. Yeah, right. Th th this isn't really that different than an old Roman Republic where Caesar douchebag Felix Infinitus is bitching at King Henry Imperator over, yeah, over the fucking Dutch Indies and the evil war economy of the fucking watermarked. You know, you get it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, my Volkswagen horses, cataphracts trampled your fucking, I don't even know, yeah, we have literally been bitching at each other about this for thousands of fucking years, and it's probably gonna be another 5,000 years before me and King Henry stop bitching at each other about this shit. Yeah, they're, they get it, because, yeah, again, yeah, you don't doubt it, if you and you and China were running some new, new empire republic, yeah, it would be the same fucking thing, yeah, the, yeah, you guys would be bitching at each other, yeah, you're the evil fucking, uh, federal fucking executor of the shogunate, and fucking Gestapo Diablo of Beijing, fucking, yeah, Mongolian douchebag inspector, fucking Google Gulag Gestapo running around, yeah. Yeah, you guys can already just replace us with the Chinese and the British with you guys, and yeah, welcome to America, brah. <clears throat> and they might get, too, the fact that we speak the same language. I touched on this before, if you watched uh, some of my earlier, you know, the beginning of World War II. I was just touching on how some of these alliances formed. In case you just got here, aren't familiar, in my opinion, whatever. Again, it's like... It doesn't really, you know, you can have pretty hardcore political ideals, you know, like whatever. I'm a borderline diehard patriot of pretty much any republic there is, as long as it's, as long as it's a real republic and you ain't arresting people just for being reds. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I thought you were a republic, bro. Yeah, yeah. At that point, I'm a little skeptical. Just saying. Yes, they can become empires of imperators. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> they get it. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't changed that much since actual Caesar douchebag Infinitus was talking about Praetor Imperator with the fucking executor executor. Yeah, you're still the executor. I'm still the judicator. And we still got Praetor Imperator from here to fucking legionary paramours. Straight up fucking jazz musicians are trying to rap like us while we're talking about politics. It's not a fucking joke. I'm sure they get it. Right. I ain't trying to sound like Snoop Diggity Dog. I'm talking about politics. Dr. Focka Wolf is talking about science. Yeah, sorry, he is blasphemously swearing like a horrible sailor. Yeah, he's swearing worse than the, the worst British sailors. And yeah, I know I'm trying to sound like some rapper in New York. No, rappers in New York are trying to sound like the, the Italian mobsters. Straight up Gestapo Diablo, you get it, guys. I hope you can understand where the whole... Yeah, right? I hope the idea of, like, black Nazis hanging out with Jerry Seinfeld doesn't sound too weird after you've gotten away from, yeah, whatever. Right, so you might get it, though. Like, it's not just the Nazi thing or just the commun- it's literally everything. It's, yeah, all this propaganda has been scrambled in a fucking blender. It's like, this is the thing, people who- bitch the most about, like, communism and stuff, it's like, brah, that's why I bitched about the billion buzzwords, yeah, do you, what does that even mean to you? <laughs> yeah, if I put you in a room with a communist, a Nazi, and a fucking Mormon, and none of them had any obvious labels, or, yeah, they all had the same outfit and the same haircut, and spoke the same language, you, yeah, you, one's a Muslim, one's a Jew, one's a Christian, you would not be able to tell unless you went straight penitus oculatus Latin douchebag inspector on the, yeah, the FSB and the FBI could figure that shit out. Yeah, I don't doubt the Shogunate or fucking, yeah, I don't doubt some samurai can figure that out. Some straight ninja intuition coming in and out of the dojo, but no, with this shit. No, no, these hipster douchebags, they, they don't have ninja intuition. They don't even have normal intuition, motherfucker, goddamn. So yeah, <clears throat> sorry to ramble so much, but I hope that summarized the cultural aspect. If you're still unsure about, yeah, you know... How similar, how different, yeah, 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 straight up, a Roman guy and a British guy bitching at each other across the Senate. Yeah, he's the federal executor, and I'm the martial fucking judicator of the Gestapo Diablo. Yeah, would you rather get hung off the monitor dreadnought or chopped up into pieces and thrown into a river? You got options, you got choices, brah, yeah, yeah, it depends if you meet us on the high sea, yeah. You piss me off in a concrete building, don't piss him off in a boat, but yeah.
I'll deal with the, uh, yeah, I'll build the dockyards, you build the U-boats, whatever. Yeah, they got the Britannic Pirate Navy, we got the fucking Praetorian Phalanx Legionnaires on, on land and on sea. Yeah, right. You probably get how effective this, yeah, why do you think this is so effective? And again, back to the fact that we both speak English, that's why. Why do you think? Why do you think me and this British douchebag are going to be bitching at each other for the next 10,000 years? If you, yeah, if we hate each other so much... Yeah, why why am I in Canada? Why why are we in the same country? Because we're the he's the only other guy who speaks the same language as me. This is the only person I can pick up a phone and call without some Google Gulag Siri translator. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but back in World War II, yeah, we had much much fewer options. We had some translators, but it, yeah, it was more yeah. The fact that I we can call each other on the phone and go, Oi, mate, cheers, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. John Wayne here, there, you get it. That's why. If you're speculating in a purely idealistic sense, thinking, Oh, no, 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 because of my, you know, political beliefs, I would never associate with someone of that political belief. Yeah, no, 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 if you support Donald Trump, we can't be friends. What if I'm the only person who speaks English and everyone else is tuck, moosh, and bender from here to Turkmenistan? Unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with the, the guy who supports Donald Trump in a fucking goddamn war economy, a planet crack and bunker bust and hellfire. You're going to be glad I have this shit when the Shogunator shows up. Yeah, guys, I oh, doubt in Canada you're thinking too. Yeah, I don't mind dealing with this for you guys. Yeah, we could just walk away and let them take over Canada. No, we'll deal with this. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I'm not expecting you to. Yeah, I don't mind helping you out with this. Uh, yeah, how many more bloody tampons are you going to throw out my window at three in the morning bitching about this evil war economy? At least wait till after I save the world from the fucking Shogunator and the Nazis and the communists and the Muslims. You get it. Right. Yeah, we're at the point where the politics have gotten stupid enough and complicated enough. Uh, yeah, a lot of these distinctions are really frivolous. I think I mentioned this too. I think we've gotten pat yeah to the point where, you know... It's less so about, you You know, we still like to make fun and speculate on blood heritage. Yeah, we like to make jokes about this or that. That's, if you're wondering why, if it seems like I might get a little too nitpicky about races from here, there. Most of it, you get it, is Italian Nazi lawyer. Yeah, when you guys start throwing the, that genocide, where words like genocide and, and Holocaust around... Yeah, I, yeah, this is my, in my defense, yeah, do you know what a genus is? Do you know what a species is? Do you know what a race is? You get it. Right, do you, right. That's, that's when it becomes pertinent. Yeah, it doesn't matter until you're walking into fucking Jerusalem like Pontius Autopilot. Yeah, when I'm on fucking trial of damnation of the fucking demon asylum of hell damnation. Yeah, when the Karen jihadists start wagging their fingers around, that's when I gotta make sure I got my case notes in order. Yeah, 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 I gotta know which one's a fucking Muslim, Turkish Borat, or Turkish Bender Muslim, whatever. Yeah, is this Kamal Ataturk or fucking Mustafa Kamal Ataturk? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. It only matters when Salalulululemon shows up, yeah, yeah, when some crazy motherfucker who thinks he's the dildo master of the universe, yeah, you get it. Just clearing it up for you guys. Sorry to ramble so much, but I hope that cleared up any any uncertainty about the cultural, historical, yeah, this straight up. 5,000 years later, it's the same Roman Empire with the same fucking Roman redcoats and British redcoats bitching at each other about the Russian rapist and whether, yeah, I've told you she's a lady, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, at this point. Yeah, we're basically best friends, but we still irritate the shit out of each other. And again, yeah, what? Why, if we hate each... Yeah, because it, it's a sheer matter of convenience. When it comes down to it, we, we can communicate with each other. And the fact that we're able to communicate with each other, yeah, in the end, is more valuable than any, any idealistic... Yeah, well, in a perfect world, we do this. Well, in a perfect world, we could do that. Yeah, in, in the real world, it's you and me bitching at each other for 10,000 years before we, we... Yeah, we finally get any work done, brah. Welcome to America. Yeah, I'm sure they can imagine most of it. So. Yeah, and I don't doubt this was a little weird for them when they realized, wait a minute, yeah, you know, our, seems like some of your closest friends, but yeah, the good old Italian douchebags, yeah, good buddies of yours. Shadow Link or what? Yeah, we're, we're like the evil Shadow Clone duplicate. Your best friend and your worst enemy are both the fucking Gestapo Diablo Italia Mafia, you get it. Yeah, there's the Italian... 
<laughs> the Italian Mafia? An Italian Mafia? One of them might be joking. Isn't everything in Italy an extortion? Yeah, literally everything is an extortion racket of the Mafia. Every Everyone in Italy is in a Mafia. It just means you're friends. Who do you trust? Who do you not trust? You could be delivering laundry. Whoever opens the door for you at the laundromat, there is your fucking Mafia. That shit's imperative, imperator. You'll be going praetor if he doesn't open that fucking door when you need the laundry. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, that's why everything in Italy is an extortion racket of a mafia. Right, we, we this is bottom line for that, too, if you're wondering if best jokes are true. Right, we, we've been doing this for so long, even just referencing our vague history, they probably get it. Right, you know, I understand why, you know, your ancient mystical tattoos from three, four hundred years ago, sorry, yeah, I will bitch at the British for the next ten thousand years, they get it. And for longer than your tattoos have existed, sorry guys, I'm... I understand why the Saxons here get a little romantic about great noble warriors of King Aragorn. We've been doing this so long, we stopped fooling ourselves with this Captain Superman superhero nonsense. Yeah, the thousands of years ago, we stopped pretending we were good guys being heroes saving the world. No, straight up extortion racket of the mafia. It's just business now, bro. We're just mercenaries. You don't pay your mercs, they're going to steal your Bergatti. Yeah, you get it. I uh, you know how cold and calculating that can seem. Again... I don't know, the best in my only defense, whatever, the only defense I'll put on the table before we go through this whole, yeah, yeah, wh where did Felix Douchebag Infinitus fuck you guys up, and yeah, you get it. I don't know, I, I don't want it to sound too righteous, I don't want to sound like we're, we're better than you or no more, yeah, it's just something we're very, we're more comfortable, yeah, being more open between each other, right? I, I don't expect everyone to give, I don't expect you to give your life story to every person you meet. But if you and me are running the Shogunate, yeah, I, I, yeah, do you want me to make up a cock and bull story about Captain Superman saving the world from evil Muslim aliens, or should I be straight up, yeah, extortion racket of the Yakuza Gestapo, or yeah, who's running the Yakuza, who's running the Gestapo, who's on the Volksbahn, who's on the Autobahn, yeah, whatever, what what you see is what you get, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not saying we don't have, we still have secrets, we still have, uh, you know, secret bank codes or whatever, but as far as my job description, and yeah, what am I getting paid for? What am I doing here, sir? Yeah, what are, what are, what are you doing here, sir? <laughs> as far as I understand, you're the federal fucking executor. Your job is to off with their fucking heads if they become enemies of the state. And my job is to arrest Mohinder at the airport in 9-11, whatever. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, it gets stupider and more complicated. The point is, whatever. It's one of the few, like, cultural, uh, you know, uh, um etiquettes we have. Yeah, 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 right? I, I, like, I like to think we're pretty laid back for the most part, right? It takes a lot to actually piss me off, but this is, you probably get, this is one of the things, uh, specifically with Britannic culture, yeah, well, you, why do you think I'm gonna be bitching at Henry for 8,000 years? Goddamn King Henry, before he finally admits he might have committed 10,000 genocides after bitching at me for the one genocide, or whatever. Bro, we were the same fucking race, it wasn't even a genocide. Yeah, it was atrocity number 8,077, but it wasn't a fucking genocide. <laughs> Just saying, dog, yeah. The sooner, if that's the, it's it's less about right or wrong, good or bad. Again, communication. If we can communicate precisely, if I know what your Yakuza Gestapo is doing, if you know what my Gestapo Yakuza is doing here, there, anywhere, what is going on between the Torah and a Faka Wolf, we can Faka Wolf from here to fucking Beijing to Tokyo, you pimping hoes from here to Taiwan to Thailand to Hong Kong. Yeah, as... Right, as long as we both know what, what, yeah, again, you don't have to tell everyone in the world all your secrets, but if you and me are, yeah, doing some crazy shit, I should know what, what you're doing and you should know what I'm doing, and in the end, we'll both be a lot more effective at it. This is, in my opinion, one of America's greatest secret strengths. Yeah, we got racial issues, yeah, we got problems with a lot of shit. In the end, a lot of people here are able to work together more naturally than a lot of places. It's kind of like um, in the Battle of Britain, I was making fun of how, you know, the British government, whatever, the crown, the palace, yeah, it's whatever, Britain has a, one of the most fucked up governments we've we've encountered, it, it, personally, whatever, they've, yeah, I've had, an, goddamn, had enough bloody tampons come flying over the English Channel, whatever. But, in again, it's like th their admiralty is very fun. Yeah, we still get along with a lot of their people. Their, their shogunate still functioned very well. They were still... 
the people in Britain, the united part of their kingdom, is united enough to cooperate very effectively. The leprechauns can communicate with the Scottish synagogue, can communicate, yeah, they can pick up a red phone to call the Engl fucking the English down and it's, uh, you get it. The English can pick up a green phone to call the Irish. They can all talk to each other and communicate and work together, even if they all fucking hate each other and can't, can't agree on jack shit about anything. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Even if they don't know what a fucking genocide is, if they're all pissed off enough, they'll go Praetor Imperator, whatever. You get it. In, in the end, we our, most of our alliance and relationship is built on the simple fact that we can communicate with each other. And yeah, you don't doubt I'm going to be tearing strips off King Henry here every time he tries to hipster douchebag this shit. Bruh, there's a reason we're, I call him Gestapo Diablo. Yeah, I ain't a superhero. I'm a garbage man taking out the trash. I'm not posing for fucking runway model photos with Zoolander. That's you guys. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. Yeah, give it a few thousand years, you'll get bored of this Captain Superman bullshit. Eventually, you'll you'll join the Shogunate with the fucking Yakuza Gestapo fucking mob pimp mobbed on a Britain, the pirate mafia of tea and spices. Yeah, guys, I think you're, uh, yeah, it's, again, I don't think you have the luxury of playing Captain Superman anymore. Yeah, you going to save your pirate fucking slave colonies of the Dutch indie tea and spice racket? Yeah, no, brah. Business, motherfucker. This is business with the pirate mafia don pimp of Britain. We're all pirate thug fucking goddamn pimps now. Yeah, no, it's not a good thing, brah. Yeah, you're right. Can we at least be straight up with each other about what we're doing here? Yeah, I at least know what my job description is and what's expected of me. Yeah, at what point am I going beyond the Call of Duty playing Captain Dildo Master? Yeah, you get it. Yeah, and I, I'm sure the Japanese get, yeah, this is, yeah, this is a daily, yeah, again, you gonna hear me and Britain bitching at each other for, yeah, 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 you get it, guys. Anyway, <clears throat> again, hope that clears up most of the uncertainty, yeah, I'm sure you got a good idea of what's going on here. Just imagine, yeah, flip everything around, yeah. You and China are running America, China, the Chinese People's Republic of Japanese America, Soviet Republic of the Kremlin, whatever. Y'all running a crazy big new republic, yeah, and what, yeah, everyday shit just gets crazier and stupider. But in the end, yeah, even if your president is an embarrassing fucking crazy dumbass that sounds like he's having a stroke, even if everyone hates you because of your evil war economy and your fucking pirate slave colonies of the Dutch Indies, if you and me can get along in here and we can communicate and trust each other and people in this state still get along with people in this state and they still go to get their propane from Hank Hill and their propane accessories, in the end... That's why we're, yeah, that's why we have yet to fracture apart and separate. It's like, in, you get it, with when patriotism, be, when this is why patriotism supersedes nationalism. This is why ultranationalism is such a crippling weakness. Yeah, if I fuck with your border or your flag, or, oh no, not our flag, bitch, you know how many flags I've had to throw away? Yeah, I got a fucking goddamn mausoleum full of illegal fucking confederate flags older than your underwear and your ancient mystical tattoos i got nazi confederate swastika jihadist flags from ten thousand years ago you wouldn't even know what the fuck this shit means but the carthaginians might now you get it yeah to us this is not edgelord to us this is another fucking day at the office and here comes king henry douchebag infinitus the 50th and well, yeah, the the the, the yeah. What where'd you say you were from? Um, uh, what the Ottoman? Yeah, she's an Ottoman Muslim Turk or whatever. Yeah, Tukmushin Binder the third. Yeah, you don't even know. So now that we're here, yeah, now that you know why we're so fucking crazy and annoying, and yeah, why you you, you ran into the same fucking Don Diablo. Is, is, yeah, your best friend and your worst enemy is yeah. We're the same same entity very much so. The Roman Latin douchebags, yeah, Mario, yeah, was it Mario or Waluigi, was it Luigi or Waluigi, you get it, yeah, my douchebag cousin Tony, whatever, I just, to cl even for other people, I'm, I'm sure the Japanese get it more than a lot of people, even Canadians, yeah, other people in the world might not be sure, and you don't doubt hipster douchebags in Canada and America will be like, no, 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 we're completely different, yeah, you're completely different. The only people who think that are people who don't know jack shit about fuck, have never had to deal with any real conflict or responsibility outside of maybe their own personal obligations. I'm not saying you've never had a job or had to, you know, take care of family. I mean, 
you know, Jeeves is Brigati, professional obligation outside of your office. Are, are you going to have a million bloody tampons flying at your window the minute you fucking start sounding like you're having a stroke on the news? Yeah, if I was the president, I would sound just as crazy as Donald Trump. You know it. You fucking know it. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, as for the tactics, okay. Now the Japanese are probably thinking, uh, whatever hardcore, uh, you know, the guy who has studied, uh, you know, samurai mentality, the, the shogunate's art of war, whatever. Yeah, can, he, can you keep up with Sparta Academy, bitch? Yeah, welcome to Sparta. Oh, come on, guys. Again, I know you can handle this, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing if Sherlock Holmes can keep up with you on this one, bro. Yeah, yeah. How many cocks did you have to suck for that badge, Admiral? Yeah, guys. Yeah, we've been doing it for thousands of years. Yeah, I ain't gonna end anytime soon, Admiral. How many cocks did you suck for that badge? So yeah, now that uh, most uh, Japanese people under <laughs> realize that, uh, yeah, you're probably a lot more familiar with America than you realized, yeah. As soon as you pulled back the curtain, it's like, oh, it's Mario's extortion racket. Who would have fucking thought? Yeah, it's another goddamn extortion racket of the fucking mafia. As if you've never seen this shit before. Yeah, I can. I think China's already calling both of us to bitch about some evil war economy and extortion racket of the fucking. Yeah, you don't doubt it. Yeah, you don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. If you can deal with the British and I can deal with the Chinese, yeah, we. Yeah, yeah. The uh, maybe I won't have to listen to this fucking douchebag bitch at me about these goddamn war atrocities and genocides. Yeah, bro, you've been fucking. How many genocides have you paid me for? I'm just saying. Either I'm fighting for money or I'm paying for someone to fight for money. Yeah, it can't be both, brah. I ain't money laundering a fucking perpetual motion. Oh my god. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah. Uh, right. Now that uh, you realize that you, yeah, you're, you're, you're more familiar with this, this than you ever wanted to be. Yeah, a little too close for comfort or what? Yeah, now that it's less of a mysterious Nugelboglin secret, yeah, now you know Mr. Gestapo is straight from Super Mario's galaxy. Yes, it's a big place, buddy. It's a big galaxy. You guys know. What about the tactics, then? So now you're thinking, okay. Oh, so, yeah, so this is a good little test, then, I guess. Ooh, yeah, now we can get... Yeah, can you keep up with Sparta, bitch? Whatever, sorry, I don't doubt they're laughing at that. Yeah, if you've kept up, you know, even they got too hipster douchebag for us. Yeah, we had to get douchebag infinitus on those motherfuckers. Yeah, complicated Roman politics. So, okay, if you're an older, more, you know, whatever, learned, uh, reasonably intelligent, C-plus or above uh, Japanese person, you're probably thinking, okay, the Roman Empire, you know, it must have been big, wealthy, influential. Right, we, we had our basics covered. <laughs> yeah, secret of the Roman Empire is a bathroom. Yeah, best jokes are true. I don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt you got some nice bathrooms in Japan. Yeah, yeah, we both knew we needed nice bathrooms. Because we're, we both know if you have a nice, if you have a bathroom and clean water, everything else is so much easier. Yeah, if you don't have a bathroom and clean water, you are a straight up third world Takmushin Binder colony in which savages in which jungle. Right. And yeah, yeah, King Henry, when we showed you how to build a sewer and get clean drinking water, yeah, now you got a straight up emperor, a dictator, imperator, yeah, douchebag infinitus going on or what? Once we showed your bitchy wife where to throw her fucking dirty douchebags, yeah, sorry, bud. Yeah, oh, this is as mild as it gets. Yeah, we are not even approaching uh, R-rated slander yet. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to know what we talk about when no one else is here. <clears throat> we will get to the tactics, but I hope you get to, if anything, like, I hope you get how, yeah, on one hand, I, I probably border on crazy hippie, where, yeah, can't we all just get along and be friends? Yeah, I'd like us to be able to get along. But yeah, this ain't a fucking Barney episode. We're not just going to be holding hands, fucking tripping, uh, melting into a couch on MDA fucking ecstasy. Like, oh, yeah, we're not just going to start fucking bromancing right away. Yeah. Right? Even if China and Japan actually get along and become friends, yeah, get ready for 10,000 years of bitching at each other like me and King Henry Douchebag Infinitus here. Yeah, right. 
I don't doubt you might think it's fun or funny. Yeah, I give it a few thousand years. Yeah, you'll both be... Yeah, yeah. Can we cut the bullshit soup Captain Superman fucking bullshit act? Can we stop pretending we're fucking saving the People's Republic and just admit it's a fucking Yakuza mob don extortion racket of the fucking Samurai Shijinko motherfucker? Yeah. I don't care if we gotta call it a shogunate or the fucking federal department of Bruce Lee punching the emperor in half. Yeah, yeah, which, who's on the Volksbahn, who's on the Autobahn, yeah. In the end, you'll find the ability to communicate this, yeah, deciding who's gonna do what, who's better at what, who's gonna do take land, who's gonna take air and sea. Yeah, you guys are clearly good pilots, you guys are clearly good infantry, whatever, yeah. Romans had better infantry, British had better navy, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we, uh, you guys, I don't doubt you, but you got a good Britannic Imperial Navy going on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. It's like, it, it, again, it's just the practical, logical. Should we trade? Yeah, are you going to give me your ship that I don't know how to sail? Am I going to give you a Praetorian Phalanx of Legionnaires and you don't know what a fucking fa Felix douchebag Infinitus is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, it only works if you know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, so, yeah, right? That ship is only gonna work if you know what the fuck you're doing. I'm gonna crash that shit into an iceberg or some shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I can help you with, yeah, yeah, whatever, basic cartography, uh, ta tactical, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 I don't know, man. I'm not saying I couldn't or never would, but, you know, uh, uh, what are you, contingencies? Yeah, uh, in, a, in a perfect world, that's, that's plan B, yeah, yeah. Where's the A-team? Where is the fucking Captain Douchebag Infinitus, the first, second, third, whatever? Where is the fucking cocky douchebag British Redcoat who sucked cock for all his admiralty badges? At least I know you can sail this fucking pirate ship, bro. I wouldn't trust you to do it otherwise. So, yeah, you get it. Even if we can all get along and be friends... I expect 10,000 years of bitching at each other over inane nonsense before we actually make any progress or get any real work done. These things take time. Yeah, you can't just force it with white guy commercials, Manchurian, Korean guy commercials. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. We're not, we're not even there yet, bro. We'll get to it. I only need you guys to help me speculate on that. But from what I can tell... Yeah, uh, Osterich and Deutsch and Czechia, Slovensky and North and South Korea. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I don't know who's who. If I had to guess, I'd say North Korea is more isolated, more more Puritan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More regal, yeah, more Chinese, whatever. L less Mongolian, baby. So yeah, that doesn't even fucking make sense. Yeah, the Mongols, yeah, what? Again, with the Latin douchebags, they're thinking, you guys are thinking too. Well, are you Roman or Mongol? Yeah, well, whatever. The, the Romans were the original, uh, yeah, douchebag infinitus, like the Vikings, like the Mongols, yeah, we the first people to run around fucking raping and pillaging everyone we could find. That's why we're bitching at you guys for it, yeah. All the stuff I bitch at you for, yeah, I've got a million fucking genocides in my mausoleum of illegal communist Nazi jihadist confederate flags that you don't know, yeah. Right, it'll be a long time before you got enough swastikas and Russian rapist tattoos to be the, as evil as the most evil motherfucker in history, Gestapo Diablo. Again, that's why, yeah, it's it's not like I don't care, but it's less shocking. I'm not, I'm not going to be offended if someone thinks I'm e the most evil man in the universe. I'm going to put that shit on a poster on my wall and take a picture of it and be like, brah, I'm British certified, uh, there's certified experts around the world can all attest to the fact that I am the most evil motherfucker in the universe, whatever. That's why I'm here trying to help everyone get along straight up. Yeah, yeah, all these evil fascist dictatorships trying to get along with each other. I hope you get a whatever, a touch of, yeah, but eventually we're going to get to bitching at America. I hope I've, I've showed you a bit of how your propaganda is, how it's like, you're not allowed to be friends with your enemies. Yeah, you're not allowed to even talk to enemies of the state or, yeah, consort with terrorists. Right. It's it's so designed to keep people isolated, separated, ignorant. Yeah, no, you don't really know what race they are. We don't really know of, yeah, you don't know jack shit about fuck. You ain't gonna know nothing about no radiation. I've mentioned this before. This is why Romans, uh, at least, uh, you know, from our perspective, why we're sticklers about, uh, you know, censorship. Again, yeah, I still have a secret bank code. There's still secret nuclear launch codes. It doesn't mean I'm going to give you all my secret nuclear launch codes every day. It just means 
yeah, how far can we stretch the taffy? How big of a cock and bull bull nonsense story do I have to make up before I can just tell you it's another fucking extortion racket of the mafia? Yeah, yeah, just like everyone else who works here, exactly. We're all on the same payroll, right? Okay, can we finally start getting some actual work done? <laughs> yeah, or do I have to... St yeah, yeah, you get it. Oh, you're thinking too. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't doubt it. And yeah, if you... If you weren't here, if this was a normal day in the office, we'd spend another eight hours bitching at each other about fucking nonsense before getting any work done. So, <clears throat> yeah, now that you realize that we're way more familiar than you ever wanted us to be, yeah, now that you're inside the fucking like, Pentagon CIA headquarters, our fucking honeycomb beehive here, yeah, 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 god damn it, it's like you never left it, yeah, it's like you're right back where you started. Yeah, yeah, just replace me with the Chinese, and yeah, we're just getting started, bro. So, uh, yeah, the tactics. Now, a lot of you are trying to think, yeah, okay, yeah, if we went up against the Romans, one of you might be laughing. Have you ever seen those Deadliest Warrior shows? Who is deadlier, the Spartan or the Samurai? Yeah, one of you might be laughing. Yeah, one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sure a Samurai could kill a Spartan one-on-one. -on -one. In most situations, if they were both prepared, yeah, maybe not if I caught you sleeping. Right, a phalanx of Praetorian legionnaires? Yeah, the whole point of a f Felix douchebag infinitus. The ants go marching one by one. Yeah, it only works when there's a f more than one ant. Yeah, one ant is basically useless. A colony of ants can destroy anything. Right, is the most deadly, uh, you know, force of nature that we know of. You get it. The Spartan phalanx only works if they're all doing, if they're all working together as one unit, as one Felix douchebag infinitus. Felix is indeed one entity. Yeah, if he is not, then the phalanx is not Felix. Yeah, yeah, someone fucked something up. Right, and th that is a huge distinction in you know effectiveness of weaponry, infantry, fucking cavalry, artillery. Uh, yeah, goddamn continuity of the fucking. Ca you, you get it. You get it. The rappers are trying to sound like me. I'm just talking about politics while Dr. Focka Wolf is yelling fuck shit bitch ass cunt a hundred miles a minute while he's inventing nuclear reactors and crazy sh crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. Best scientist in the world is Dr. Fucking Shitballs and bitch cunt flat bitch. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Why do you think all these words are blasphemous swear words? Yeah, British table manners aside, yeah, no, German scientists are blasphemers because they invent sea boots. I'm not even fucking, it's as far as I speculate in the lizard orgy direction. Now, yeah, what is it? Oh, they can, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of toying with you guys. It's another one of those things, okay? I gave you a clue already. The, what's the secret of the Roman Empire? A bathroom. Yeah, it's funny because it's true. It's a joke, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, that was our secret advantage for a, a solid thousand years. We had a bathroom and no one else had a bathroom. All it means is a lot more people can live in one city. Yeah, our one city has a, like a m couple million people in it. Yeah, good luck fitting 10,000 people in a city with no bathroom. Yo, yeah, you get it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't even have to say it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. It is one of the... It might seem frivolous, but the garbage man? Yeah, there's a reason the garbage man is the most prestigious agency in our whole fucking cabinet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's Gestapo, SS, Office of the Marshals, the CIA, the FBI. No, the garbage man supersedes all of their authority. He is basically the ultimate authority in the Imperium uh, below the, the Imperator. I don't doubt one of you is going to say, wait, the, the Imperator, the Shogun, he's like the ultimate garbage man. Yeah, he, he got promoted to man management. Now, yeah, now he can sit on his ass in a chair telling everyone else what to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you better at this? Yeah, no, straight up you're not better at this, so shut the fuck up. And he, yeah, you can choose to listen to me, you can choose to fight me, or you can choose to get the fuck out of my Shogunate. And yeah, next, please. <laughs> are you better at this? No, straight up you're not better at this. <laughs> you get it. Hey, if you're better at this than the Shogun, yeah, can you beat him at a game of chess in the dark with the mobsters? Yeah, straight up. Right, you know, if you're better at this, by all means, yeah, yeah, well, what would you do, King Henry? Yeah, yeah, what the fuck would you do, King Henry? Uh, go back to your fucking circle jerk fucking anal orgy with the Navy boys there, and yeah, whatever, bro, yeah, oh my god. It'll never end. We're gonna be bitching at each other till the end of the fucking universe. Hey. Yeah, whatever. It's the best we got. It's the best we fucking got. Yeah, you got a better idea? 
Yeah, do you know of some perfect place where, uh, yeah, I hope you get it. With so much of this bitching, whatever, yeah, you've goddamn, we'll get back to it. I am toying with you guys, right? Think simple, stupid. Yeah, we, God damn it! the Germans are the ones who have secret UFO fucking Luftwaffe alien technology. We, yeah, we, we got uh, mafia extortion rackets, garbage men, bathrooms, yeah, simple shit that, unfortunately, a lot of people tend to neglect or assume isn't that important, be whatever. Yeah, right, an army marches on its stomach. You're not going to know how much food a big army needs until you have a million soldiers. Yeah, now you know how much food it takes to feed a million soldiers. I don't doubt a lot of them are thinking, no, 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 that makes sense. Why do you think hardly anyone was ever able to conquer Rome? The simple fact that no one could amass the, the army big enough to conquer the city that has millions of people in it. They didn't realize till they got there, how the fuck do you, are there so many people in one city? We have a bathroom, literally, we have a bathroom, therefore we have millions of people in one city, and it doesn't matter how hard you try to get thousands of warriors of the fucking Aragorn together, eventually you gotta take a shit, you're, yeah, eventually you're gonna need a fucking bathroom. Extortion racket of the mafia? Yeah, you give me some money and you can use the bathroom, bro. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we're sleazy Latin douchebags like that. Yeah, it's been thousands of years since we stopped fucking calling ourselves heroes or Captain Superman. Whatever the garbage man can, bitch. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, no, again, we are far more familiar than you ever wanted us to be. Yeah, you were. it was a lot more comfortable when we were fucking alien demon Balrogs of Moria. No, now you realize we're just more Chinese douchebag, fucking Mongolian douchebag inspectors out of Pyongyang. Yeah, borderline fucking, we are hoping we're the South Koreans and not the North Koreans. I don't even fucking know, brah. <laughs> Osterich or Deutsch? Yeah, are we the Slovensky or the Czechia? Yeah, yeah, the Germans or the Russians? Yeah, are the Japanese or the Chinese? Yeah, you guys get it. I don't know, it's amusing because it's not like I've seen this so many times, but yeah, I, I took a walk in any direction and ran into the same fucking Austrian-British soap opera. Yeah, King Dildo Master of the Universe, a bunch of oppressed fucking hardworking crazy people are, yeah, conflicted about whether they should kick the king out of the castle, get rid of their old Confederate Nazi flag, whatever, yeah, we've seen a lot of people go through this. Yeah, it's natural to struggle with the idea of, well, is this disrespectful to the Dildo Master? Is this disrespectful to my family? Will the Dildo Master, uh, yeah, what, yes, God damn it. Eventually, the, the world will need to stop uh, slobbering on the cock of the dildo master and attend to their own needs. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, brah. Yeah, at a certain point, we all had to stop slobbering on that guy's cock and kick him the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, I don't doubt do you guys get it. Again, yeah, maybe he was a smart guy. If you're scared to give him bad news, yeah, that's one of your most crippling flaws. If, I don't doubt you guys, yeah, that in itself... If he got all the complaints immediately and had secretaries go through them and find the important ones and say, oh, sir, according to these millions of complaints, yeah, he would at least know the problems. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he can decide which ones are important or which ones to fix, but yeah, you get it. And you might get too. If you come to, if you want to complain about something, oh, you're more than welcome to complain. Just add it to the pile. Yeah, there's a billion complaints in a giant stack of paper that's bigger than you are. Yeah, just toss it on the pile and then, yeah, go, go about your business. You get it. Eventually, it's more, yeah, a lot of people aren't even going to bother complaining if there's already a million complaints there. It's a good decentivizing people. Yeah, eventually they won't want to complain, as opposed to being scared of complaining about something that they want to. You get it? I don't know. Yeah, Austrian psychiatrist, Freudian psych office. It's, these are, again, it's one of our little whatever PSYOPs Delta tricks. It's not rocket science. It's basic shit that we see hipster douchebag negligent Rob Reiner fucking King Henry motherfucker. This is why we bitch at the British and the Canadians and shit all the time. It's like, brah, if you just pull your head out of your ass and get real with the fucking genocides on a daily whatever, at least now I know your grandmaster genocide or whatever. It can be your rapper name, brah. I'm just saying... If I need to talk to someone about genocide, we got the Grandmaster Expert over here, whatever, yeah, yeah. Right, you get it. If we're talking about uh, crickety crickety crack cocaine, yeah, do you know, right, you get it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I am, again, I'm toying with you. 
our secret advantages are not alien Nugelboglin spaceships. That's the Luftwaffe labs of the Germans. Yeah, they have crazy Nugelboglin alien Protoss spaceships. The Conclave, the yeah, yeah, well, you don't doubt they helped us come up with this whole system. Yeah, when the, when the Russians and the Germans started living together, when we became communist Nazis, well, who's on the Volksbahn? Who's on the Autobahn? Who's the executor? Who's the judicator? Yeah, we were the Marshal Judicator, the Gestapo fucking policing, yeah, world police, I am the law bitch, my judge, jury, executioner. Whereas Master Huntsman Focke-Wolf can go jihad to the Dutch Indies in a giant robot. Yeah, he's the master huntsman of the fucking Luftwaffe. You get it. They're the ones who can fly around capping your ass a uh, fucking land, air, and sea. We are just, uh, yeah, an another extortion racket, another mafia. Fucking right. I could do this blindfolded with my hands tied behind my back. You get it. Right. Not saying I could never fly a plane. Not saying he could never run an extortion racket. Yeah, it, you get it. You want to see some Nuremberg trials? They're going to see him cut the six and a half foot Viking talking in some crazy Luftwaffe language. They're going to see him coming from a mile away. Me, I can sleaze through Ireland, mate, straight to the Mongolian douchebag inspector's office, in and out of fucking Russia. No one will know until they, yeah, you get it. It's a lot less obvious when an Italian goes from Austria to Slovenski and into Russia. Yeah, yeah, you might, yeah, right? If you're not sure... Well, uh, yeah, yeah, no shit. If your propaganda's bullshit, no shit your propaganda's bullshit. The reason our propaganda works so well is because it's not, yeah, it's selective truth as opposed to a crock of fucking horse shit. Yeah, there's a difference. Anyway, yeah, we'll come back to this. I'll give you some time to think about it, Shogunator, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, if you're looking for alien Luftwaffe fucking hob hobble goblin, yeah, that, that that's the Germans. They got that crazy X-Files shit. Yeah, who do you think helped us create the, uh, the X-Files? Yeah, 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 right? That was Dr. fucking shitball's idea. You know, we should probably have an extra folder for our contingencies. God damn Dr. Einstein or what? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, you don't doubt they make us look a little less sophisticated every fucking day, brah. We make fun of them for being snooty, sophisticated scientists. They make fun of us for being savage, Klingon, fucking barbarian animals. Basically, fucking basically. <laughs> Centuries, cycles before they had underwear. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, we'll come back to this. I'll give you time to think about it. What crazy secret advantage do the crazy Romans have... Yeah, simple, like, yeah, you guys know, extortion racket of the mafia, simple shit, like, shit that you, it works because you know it fucking works, because the same Yakuza mob don of the fucking Shogunator's office has been running the same Volkspawn for a hundred, yeah, you get it, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, the, the, what they were doing in Japan, yeah, keeping that shit to show together is exactly what the Gestapo was doing in Europe, and yeah, we were doing the same fucking thing, brah, I don't doubt, partially, yeah, you know who's good at this shit? Yeah, yeah, if we can do this half as good as those samurai motherfuckers, then we'll at least be doing, yeah, good enough, yeah, straight up, whatever, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we all have our benchmark examples of here, there, anywhere, it's like the, the Spartan versus the, the samurai, I don't doubt a bunch of samurai are thinking, wait, what if there's ten of us and ten of the Spartans, yeah, you better start getting prey, yeah, you better get a foul of Felix douchebag infinitus going, or, yeah, yeah, if you get enough Spartans in one group, you're gonna see Felix douchebag infinitus, yeah, exactly, at that point, it doesn't matter, yeah, it could be a million Persians, yeah, you still ain't gonna make it, bud, you get it, critical mass, whatever. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with these, like, old tricks and tactics and math tricks and psychological tricks. That, yeah, it's, right. Sure, we had some crazy German scientists help us here and there. A lot of it is trial and error, time-tested things. It's like, well, we tried this 800 times and it didn't work. We tried this 7,000 times, it only worked a few times. Yeah, over the last 8 million mistakes we made, yeah, the, this worked 8, 6, 7 times. Let's try this again, yeah, yeah. If you can't even admit to one, ge yeah, bro. After a hundred genocides, you'll start to get a little more real with this shit. Yeah, you will see Grandmaster Genocide bust out on the freestyle circuit. Just saying, bro. At least you got a choice, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Again, you got to be as hard as NWA to keep up with these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think, motherfucker? <clears throat> so yeah. 
We'll, we'll, we'll okay, I'm going to leave you with that one clue of, yeah, our greatest asset for the long period of our history was the simple fact that we had a bathroom, a sewer, and clean running water in our capital city. All that means is, yeah, the, the, our population was bigger than any other anyone else could possibly manage. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter if you go find more soldiers. They're all going to have to go to the bathroom every day. Yeah, it's straight up. Until you have a bathroom or a sewer or... Yeah, you're going to have to think of a, a solution to this age-old problem of having to take a shit every day. Yeah, yeah. If you're still to trying to deal with problems like taking a shit and wearing underwear and... Yeah, yeah. Cooking food and finding water. Yeah. Right. I don't want to start throwing buzzwords around. I'm just saying, dog. Once you have clean water and underwear and, and a bathroom... Yeah, now we can start talking about fucking Lufthansa and Utrecht's Kriegsmarine Bismarck fucking flying saucers and shit. Yeah, yeah, now we can start getting into more complicated shit. So, let's take it a step further. I'm going to leave you with one more little clue to think about before we get back to here. And, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show you what's in our fucking mausoleum of fucking Confederate Nazi flags and fucking Grandmaster fucking genocide here. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, which one's Grandmaster genocide? Yeah, yeah. We're the same race, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, close enough. Close enough. Unless you've got a straight-up xenobiologist with a Taldarim, it's close enough. So, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, well, let's go back to the whole Tora Tora Faka Wolf thing. Yeah, yeah. The Lightning Raid, the Lightning War. The Totsugeki Raigeki and the Blitzkrieg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a coincidence. You two have been Faka Wolfing in and out of the closet for... Yeah, I do not want to know what you guys do when I'm not here. I don't doubt you got a million Manchurian half-Korean offspring running around fucking Mongolia at this point. W whatever, brah, yeah, I ain't paying child support for that motherfucker's million Mongolian fucking de death horde children, whatever, brah. Yeah, you want, uh, yeah, you gonna hire Death Master Genocide for this shit? Oh, God, man, now it's, now you're laughing, yeah. So, yeah, <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that, yeah, what you guys do behind the, the, those paper screen uh, things, yeah, yeah, I don't, get more of those paper wall dividers, and, uh, yeah, don't tell me what the fuck you guys do when I'm not here. Whatever, yeah, if you want, yeah, if we need to film things, yeah, we can, t is this business or pleasure, yeah, am I a porn director, or am I intruding on something private, yeah. Right, can we be straight up in the forum, or, yeah, you get it. You don't doubt I'm gonna be bitching at King Henry about this shit until he just tells me I'm a porn director today. Anyway. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> Staring us right in the face, yeah, do you need to Google, uh, well, you know, how close or far, yeah, this is... God damn. One way or another, uh, yeah, someone benchmarked someone, someone thought, yeah, you know... You know who's good at this? Uh, the, the Luftwaffe? Yeah, yeah. Should we benchmark the, the Blitzkrieg or the Totsugeki Ragiaki? Right. One way or another, the, this was quite a grand coincidence if you both came up with a Blitzkrieg bop at the same time in the same war, the same circumstance. Yeah, yeah. No, you get it. One of you is spying on someone. Uh, yeah, well, someone moved one of those paper wall dividers. Yeah, again, yeah, you guys are already doing some crazy, weird, kinky shit when I'm not here. Yeah, I don't doubt... Yeah, I'd probably get arrested if I started filming anything. Just saying, one way or another, it's a lot like the Blitzkrieg. If you've kept up or if you just got here, our Blitzkrieg was very effective at first. Yeah, the whole point of the Bl Dude, we've seen this from the moment we met these crazy Vikings in the... Yeah, back when Odovacker was a crazy Viking in the woods, cycles ago, Shepard, before you had underwear, you still had a fucking sword and a shield. Right. This is their classic trademark strategy, the Blitzkrieg. Let's charge them all. Yeah, fucking an executor, fucking annihilator. Kill them all before they have time to, you know, get get, get into their formation. Before Felix Douchebag Infinitus, Voltron motherfucker, before we all Voltron into one Felix Douchebag Infinitus. You don't doubt it. The thing is, it only works if you're fast enough. As soon as Felix Douchebag Infinitus is online with the Voltron Spartans, yeah, as soon as we all turn into one entity, yeah, once the phalanx is uh, is in place, yeah, you can charge a thousand tanks into it, and uh, yeah, right, the ca right. Uh, yeah, the Blitzkrieg only works if you're ahead of the game, if you catch them by surprise, if you're f the Mongolians show up in your camp at two in the morning, yeah. 
Right. If we're all prepared sitting here waiting for it, if we know what to expect, if we have our anti-aircraft guns, if we have our anti-tank missiles, yeah. We're all sitting here waiting to stab all your horses as soon as you get close. Suddenly it will not work. Yeah, suddenly charging the shield wall is a very bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Ironically, charging the shield wall is only a good idea if you get there before we have the shield. Yeah, it's a preventative measure. Yeah, yeah, right. It's not a contingency. It, it, it's a preemptive, right, right. Rank, ladder rank this shit. Right. Yeah, and it took them a while to figure this out. It, it's like the Triarii thing. One of the Germans' greatest weaknesses back in the day, one of the things, we, yeah, you know, doubt we used to preach this to these motherfuckers once we started, yeah. Back when it was us bitching with the Germans for a thousand years before we finally got along well enough to make jokes about filming each other. Yeah, whatever, bro. Just tell me if I'm a porn director or if I should get the fuck out of here before, one, yeah, one of us is going to the gulag for this shit. Just saying, bro. One way or another, right? Yeah, one way or another. Basically, you guys were blitzkrieg using the same blitzkrieg tactic with your carrier squadrons. Yeah, sure enough, when I woke up one morning to take a piss and I had a hangover and started, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I sorry, I wasn't ready. Yeah, Felix Douchebag Infinitus was nowhere near ready for the blitzkrieg. Yeah, we've been through this before. Uh, yeah, once we had a fucking gay panic attack over this shit and almost fucking, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. O almost fucking jumped out of my skeleton or Sarge pissed himself, whatever. I had to recomport myself. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, we immediately devised a counter-attack strategy. Yeah, suddenly the, the rock, paper, scissors kind of reverses. It it's not like you could never win. It's just the scissors are too... Yeah, scissors won't cut the paper anymore. Yeah, these scissors are dull. This paper is too thick. Yeah, this fabric is too thick. The paper is too thin. The rock is too small. Yeah, suddenly the rock, paper, scissors... Yeah, the Blitzkrieg smashing the, the scissors or cutting through the paper. Yeah, n now it's paper trying to cut through some scissors. Yeah, it's like crossing the T with the Untersee boots. Suddenly you d you don't want to cross... Yeah. No, I, I, now it's about not crossing the T at Trafalgar. Yeah, you start crossing T's at Trafalgar, Horatio Nelson's gonna be pimp-slapping you. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, that was back in the fucking day, bud. That was old school. Doesn't mean we should all forget about it. It means we should all remember to not cross the T against an Untersee boot if you don't understand why. Yeah, King Henry motherfucker. Get ready for another thousand years of me laying into this Rob Reiner hipster douchebag motherfucker. But you guys get it. As soon as it was no longer... Yeah, as soon as you lost your surprise advantage, and as soon as you woke up Dog the Bounty Hunter, as soon as we were mass-producing our fucking evil war economy out of our military-industrial complex, we'll get to it. I know you're curious. Yeah, areas 1 to 50? Yeah, the British and their shadow factory? Yeah, we built a hundred shadow factories, bruv. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, they're full of UFOs. Straight, unidentified, flying fucking Luftwaffe Volksjäger fucking Messerschmitt fucking V2 Cobra rockets. Now you get it. Yeah, we built some straight alien fucking unidentified aircraft. And yeah, you get it. Yeah, then who do you think builds the UFOs? Luftwaffe Messerschmitt, motherfucker. <clears throat> We we steal technology, we benchmark technology, but yeah, you guys do that too. We'll take your cell phone and make a better one. Yeah, we got a lot in common, guys. So yeah, we, we adopt what we see as positive qualities, we reject what we see as douchebag King Henry fucking Rob Reiner motherfuckers who think they can decide when not to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I don't care how badass your warriors are. If you need to take a shit, you're going to have to figure out going to the bathroom and getting underwear and water before we can start talking about all this science and politics and shit, bro. Sorry. Just saying. Yeah, this is as mild as it gets, bro. Yeah, you think that was racist? Like I said, we can be very racist. It's got nothing to do with your race. Yeah, it's completely indiscriminate when we start indiscriminately burning everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this ain't a genocide. It, uh, yeah, you happened to be in front of me when I started destroying everything. I'm gonna start flailing my arms around, and if you get hit, it's your own fucking fault. So yeah, now you get it. Uh, basically, yeah, it's not just you guys. It's not because you weren't doing... what. Yeah, even the yeah best of the best Redcoat Marines with their perfect firing formation, yeah, are still gonna get their asses kicked by Zulu. Even Felix Douchebag Infinitus is gonna get fucking punked by Mohinder's Mafia. Yeah, you get it. 
Yeah, yeah. This, this, this sort of thing only works when the rock it, it hits the scissors, when the scissors cuts the paper. It, yeah, if, if they switch places, if I take your scissors and you have a rock instead of the paper now, yeah, yeah, suddenly things are different. Right, right, right. Doesn't matter how many bombers I throw at those interceptors, I'm gonna lose all of them because the paper can't cut the scissors in half. Yeah, I have a million pieces of paper. That's a million cas more casualties, King Henry. I don't care if you have a billion pieces of paper. You're not gonna cut these scissors in half with a billion pieces of paper. Yeah, I know how dumb that sounds. Yeah, yeah, World War... We've seen this happen so many times. We have seen King Dildo Master... Oh, uh, whatever, I have a trillion pieces of paper. Yeah, wh whatever, <laughs> just keep... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just keep trying to cut the scissors in half. Oh, get trillions of more pieces of paper, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, just get more stuff. Wait till we're in the Cold War and it's two Slav douchebags are arguing over who has more cocks and who are, yeah, nuclear missile master race. Yeah, it, it's two slovenly Caesar douchebag infinitus, one from America, one from Russia, in the world's most epic rap battle over who has the world's biggest cock. I have millions of bigger cocks than you. Yeah, yeah, the Cold War is right around the corner, brah. You do not doubt half of it was us arguing over who had the most biggest cocks in the world. Yeah, at least you don't have to listen to my kids, motherfucker. Yeah, straight up. King Henry the Tenth is here. Yeah, yeah, you get it. So yeah, I, you guys are probably starting to get an idea. I don't expect you to fill in this whole puzzle immediately, but you, you should probably have a sense of, uh, yeah, this... Our our secret ancient art of warfare. Yeah, most of it is from before y'all had on before most of you had underwear. We've just e adapted. Yeah, interpret the, the scripture in a modern context. Yes, you're v we're very much encouraged to adapt it to the current situation. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, we don't we don't cross the T at Trafalgar anymore. Yeah, yeah, we try not to cross the T. Yeah, yeah, we want them to cross our. Or we want to cross their T. No, you get it. We want them to cross our T. It's all backwards. <laughs> the, the scissors and the paper have switched places. Yeah, yeah. You get it. That, that's uh, the uh, b foundation of a lot of it. So again, yeah, if, if you're Blitzkrieg, uh, if you're goddamn executor, annihilator, Japanese fucking in indie Dutch indie terrorist fucking annihilation attack, yeah, if we're not ready, we're, if you, we're gonna be fucking up shit creek without a pa Yeah, you're right. As soon as we're ready for it, as soon as we have time to prepare, its effectiveness w will fall off a cliff's edge. It's like one of those bell curves. Yeah, exponential graphs where, <laughs> yeah, the, the, you'll, the, you'll see the greatest return of investment in the beginning of the margin, but once you fall off, it's literally like falling off the edge of a cliff. Once you pass a certain point, the effectiveness hits fucking rock bottom. You're, you're lucky to break even at that point. Yeah, now we're into pure, yeah, Pyrrhic victories. Oh, I won, but it cost me, yeah, I won five bucks, but it cost, I spent a billion dollars on lottery tickets and won five dollars. Hey, at least you can go on, at least you can technically say you won. Yeah, don't, don't tell them what the budget was. Yeah, we won, it, but you now we're fucking broke and we need a new flag. Whatever, just saying. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, th th that's where we're starting with this. Our, our simplistic, psychological mindfuck nature to a lot of this stuff. Yeah, the fact that we've seen a million people make all these mistakes. Yeah, okay, this is like the 10 millionth time we've seen this happen. We just have to put our heads together and apply rational skep skepticism and rational speculation. How does this translate to the current day? Are we crossing the T? Are we not crossing the T? Is this a rock or a paper or a scissors? Yeah, right. Right. Once we can achieve any consensus, once we know that paper, we're having a hard time cutting these scissors in half with a piece of paper. I don't care if you got a million more pieces of paper, you get it. Right. Interceptors, bombers, forget you get it. Do you have the tool for the job, or do you not? <clears throat> it, yeah, having the right tools far supersedes having more. Yeah, I have a million screwdrivers. Do you have one that is going to help me get this screw? And yeah, now they're five Japanese, they're laughing, yeah. Do you want one screwdriver that will be work for what you're doing, or do you want a million screwdrivers that might work, whatever, a million screwdrivers is better than one, is it? Yeah, or would you rather just have the one that's going to get the nails in the fast, nail, nails, screws, whatever, get the job done, cut the paper, smash the scissors, fucking wrap up the rock, and yeah, get on with your day. And, and Yeah, 
are a million dildos going to satisfy you more than one? Yeah, would you rather have one really good dildo or a thousand cheap dildos that aren't as good? Yeah, in the end, you might get a lot more satisfactory use out of one good dildo. I thought, we're not porn directing today? Oh my god, yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave, yeah, I'll leave you guys in peace to figure this out. You yeah, talk about your Blitzkrieg, Focka Wolf, fucking Tora Focka Wolf, I don't want to know. Yeah, if you decide to film it, you send me a link, That that's as far as, it's as far as I can take that, guys. Yeah. This is as mild as it gets. If I come back and these paper divider walls aren't here, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm going back to Super Mario's Galaxy. You guys can figure this shit out on your own. Uh, no, one of the Germans might think it's funny. You know, realistically, I, I, I assume you guys are spending a fair amount of time f the Tora Faka Wolf in here, there, anywhere. Yeah, ask ask these. Yeah, now that we're done bitching at Germany for ten thousand years, yeah, we've we've gone through it with them. We're we're cool now. Yeah, we can you know, if you, yeah, right. We can do the porn director thing. If yeah, I trust you, bro. Don't worry. I don't trust King Henry with this shit. He's gonna fucking sell it to an extortion racket. Yeah, they're gonna take it straight to Queen Spindly Spider Bitch. I'm just saying, bro. Yeah, they, they should know by now. Ask one of these, uh, you know, Saxony, you know, so one of them who's, yeah, I gotta tell you all about the, the, the war, the noble warriors. Yeah, it just means you're in a war, buddy. How far can we stretch the taffy, Colonel Hoppy? Ask them, wh yeah, what is it about the Roman Legion? Yeah, yeah, why are they so effective? Why, why did your blitzkrieg of crazy Viking fucking sci crazy scientists with horrendously inappropriate swear words for names... Yeah, which came first, their names or the fact that the Queen thinks they're naughty swear words? Yeah, why do you think uh, every German word is a naughty swear word? Yeah, yeah, think, motherfuckers. I don't care if I'm saying fucking shit, cunt bitch, is rude to you. It's rude to you because the Queen of England told you to fucking get more Dutch indie boys for her fucking heroin and spice racket. So to me, it's a lot more rude to try to silence these, these natives here uh, from their native tongue of, you know, inventing crazy UFOs when you think it's rude because the Queen told you to get more fucking crack and heroin for her fucking slave indie boys, whatever, brah. Yeah, how far you want to take this, King Henry? Yeah, to the Colosseum or back to Sparta, motherfucker. You don't doubt he's ready. Yeah, yeah. Douchebag infinitus, indeed. Yeah, uh, yeah, Heisenschroger, fuck it. Yeah, get, put your fucking, put some damn clothes on, motherfucker, and help me out, figure this out, before you guys go back to whatever the fuck you do when I'm not here. Yeah. I don't want to know who's using what with who. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, obviously I could say we're the best at everything. No, you're right. Clearly we're not the best at everything. Or would I waste all this time with these motherfuckers? No, I clearly need something from these guys. We still need their help with this, that, and the other. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they were bigger than us. They were stronger than us. Yeah, yeah, they were big, scary-ass motherfuckers. <laughs> We were smarter than them because we had a, yeah, cycles ago, Shepard, before you had underwear, we had a big head start. We had a long time to sit around thinking about this, to collect, you know, records of, yeah, well, the last 10,000 genocides we committed before everyone else started talking about genocide like it was uh, horrendously unforgivable. Oh, it's unforgivable until you, yeah, until you do it. Yeah, now it's complicated, yeah. Now it's complicated. 30 years later, yeah, yeah, now it's complicated. Whatever, just saying, dog. I don't even fucking know. I'm making up numbers like Donald Trump at this point. Yeah, come on, buddy, what is it? Why did we kick your ass so many times before you figured out how to stop using the Blitzkrieg against the douchebag infinitus? Yeah, it's not because we're Superman. It's not because we're the smartest people in the world. We're not the strongest people in the world. We weren't born rich. We don't just have a infinite money in a Swiss bank account somewhere. We, we got some money in a Swiss bank account somewhere, but it's not infinite, right? Really, but yeah, borderline. Yeah, yeah, it's something to... Uh, the, the, war, the evil war economy... The military-industrial complex? Yeah, have you ever... Right. Yeah, you don't doubt they're getting it. The engineer corps, the fact that every Roman soldier is also a farmer or an engineer. The soldiers are also farmers, the hammer and the scythe. Yeah, yeah. Right, our, our siege equipment, our engineering, the fact that we can build bridges and walls and towers and buildings and... Right. Half of our military is engineering. Yeah, siege weapons... Did we bring catapults? Bro, we build catapults. Bring me some fucking trees and I'll show you how to build a catapult. What, you need to go back to your city that doesn't have a bathroom that... Yeah. 
bro, we already have a bathroom, and I'll show you how to make a catapult, I'll show you how to make underwear, I'll show you how to make a fucking sewer, then you can start preaching at me about fucking genocide, stop, whatever. I'll show you Grandmaster Genocide, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, we've seen enough of this shit before, bro. It's not a good thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm so you gotta do yeah you gotta be straight Oni Shogunator to you know actually shock or impress me with any of this shit anymore, you know straight up unless I walk in here and all the wall dividers are gone yeah yeah it'll be a long time before you see me actually like stop and be like what the fuck dude yeah 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 even if I haven't seen it all myself it's yeah our our culture enjoys talking about things. Yeah, I know. Uh, what? Yeah, our culture enjoys talking about things, as opposed to not being sure if it's inappropriate to say anything. Yeah, right? Everyone just shut up and wait for... Yeah, just shut up and wait for us to die, whatever. That's probably the one thing that grinds my... You know, again, there's a few things about Britannic culture that yeah, I'm going to be bitching about till the day I die. You've seen it. Yeah, it, it's... Not so much lying about everything, it's suppressing everything. Everything, yeah, just make it awkward, make it uncomfortable, make it impolite, make it rude. Yeah, it's more polite to not, uh, yeah, push the issue. It's, you know, it's less rude to just not mention it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep calm and carry on, motherfucker. Keep calm and where the fuck is the chancellor? Yeah, now he's laughing. Yeah, bro, you figure, yeah, where the fuck is the chancellor? You figure that out. And when I come back here, yeah, one of you, yeah, yeah. There's a reason we Felix Douchebag Infinitus kicked your ass for a thousand years running. Yeah, it's not because of fucking Superman, fuck, yeah, no, it's because, yeah. It's because of a bathroom, it's because of a catapult, it's because of a wall, it's because of... Right, I, I hesitate to call it science when there's real scientists here now. Yeah, straight up, you know what I'm saying, dog. This ain't no Luftwaffe labs, it's, you know... Concrete? Yeah, yeah, I can turn liquid stone into any shape I want if I tomorrow. I'd make a stone any shape you want, yeah, like magic. Straight up literal magic until they figured out the science, you get it. Once they understood that our concrete was science and not magic, yeah, you get it. That was really it, and we've slowly lost a lot of these advantages over time. Or we would have if people were, you know didn't willfully or intentionally forget this shit. Yeah, if people kept all this knowledge from their heritage instead of, you know, censoring everything, oh, that might be inappropriate. Well, genocide's bad. Well, yeah, it sure is. Yeah, so if we all never aren't allowed to talk about it, yeah, you gonna, yeah, you gonna see the most evil man in history, a dictator fucking imperator again and again and again, and every time you're gonna be like, what the fuck, yeah, how did this happen? I don't know, let's erase it from history and wonder why it's gonna keep happening. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Censoring things because they're naughty and unpleasant is one of the most destructive, stupidest things you could possibly do. And I'm going to tear a strip off these King Henry, Rob Reiner, hipster douchebag motherfuckers anytime they give me a hard time for swearing, dropping F-bombs around the queen. I don't care if I'm saying fuck shit, bitch ass cunt while I'm preaching at you for your fucking bullshit. Yeah, brah, I'd rather us uh, sit here bitching at each other for a thousand years than, yeah, you won't be straight Grandmaster Genocide or what? Yeah, yeah, you in or you out, brah, yeah, if, if you would, if you don't want to be Grandmaster Genocide, well, let's figure out some other solutions here. Now, yeah, now that you guys are done, tore a fuck a wolf and every, yeah, here, there, fucking everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna bring a black light tomorrow, and yeah, yeah, we gonna see how much of a tore a fuck a wolf has been going on here when I'm not here. You know, straight up. We'll get back to this, guys. You better have a fucking answer when I get back, or you're going to see the most evil man in history. Yeah, you won't see the dictator imperator. You're filming this one, buddy. Yeah, straight up. Hey, you always have a choice, lady. You in or you out?